Hi dear viewers, welcome back to my next video. In this video, we are going to see the loading, so loading, loading controller. So basically, what you will do uh, whenever some anything want to reload, if you want any data from the HTTP and need to show, and at that time, or if you are submitting the form value or submitting something like posting something, then user need uh, should not see like it should not be like a button disable or enable instead of disabling the button and enabling the button we can show this loading school effect where a user can able be notified that yes user need to wait for a few seconds to be get the process done and then it gets loaded so basically in our previous video what we have discussed was like we have created one <coughs> services like http service and auth service so basically we have we have requested some values users uh, information and we were displaying the dashboard right so here is the dashboard where we were we were displaying it now what we'll do we'll create some loading service so whenever the request goes http request goes or from the auth service with the request goes we will show a loading effect and then as soon as we get the data we will close the uh, we close the loading effect so this can be done directly using the loading controller but uh, every time I need to add the loading controller and then I need to make the function. So it, uh, I need to use it multiple times, uh, multiple places. So what I'll do, I'll make a controller, loading controller, where uh, loading service, okay, loading service. So the service I will be calling every time in a, each and every page wherever it is required. Okay, so without wasting name, let us start. So here I am running my module right now and I'm create one create one service okay ionic generate service in services folder it's a loading loading service okay so here you go and if you want more things documentation is here everything is here like okay so what you need to do and everything so basically your service has been created and you can find it here in the service where it, uh, let's refresh okay so i think i'm wrongly spelled it motor recycle bin let me create it again scr vi cs okay services loading so <coughs> that's all uh, we need to do i think services have been created loading service here you go and just import the loading controller and just private get a variable of loading controller okay loading controller and here you need to have two function a loading need to be start okay so present loading we need to show the loading and we need to dismiss the loading okay so present the loading and that's it you need to present it okay and you have a async uh, async function is also not required just click on dismiss direct direct function you can have a small function where you can able to send like this dot loading controller dot dismiss okay and you can have a console stating that loading has been dismissed or you can have this okay this is a small service which we have created right now and we will be using this service in auth where we are we are requesting the users to get the data we, we are fetching the data so better to have here all the loading controller or if you don't want you can directly write in http so everywhere if you want if you feel like it's burden for you so what i'll do whenever a H http request is going on we will add that okay why because multiple times you need to write that in auth service so that's a better better way so to have it here loading service Okay. So to fix control Z, I don't think load 
Loading service. Okay. So it is present in this way, and here you go with the loading service dot present the loading. Okay. Either it might be a post request or get request. Nothing. Just importing was an error. So here, if you want to give it here, it's good. Other why? Yeah, you can give it as soon as control Z. Here you go with this same loading is present. Okay. Here you go. And now in this art service, as soon as you get the response, now I'll what I'll do, I go to the dashboard module page where it is page. Right. As soon as we get the response, okay. So here you what you'll do we'll import that. Private loading module, loading service. Okay, that was the spelling mistake. Loading service. We have now what you'll do as soon as the, we get the value, this dot loading service dot dismiss. We need to dismiss it. Okay, and I uh, for doing this, it's better to have. It in a function on load or I have a refresh refresh function okay I have a refresh function where I have written it here and in G on it I am calling it as a refresh this dot refresh okay why I am doing this I'll explain you later okay now what we'll do we'll check our app here you go so here what we'll do we'll go with the home and then dashboard so as soon as we do loading starts and it got dismissed okay and here we got the results now if you want to get one more request if we uh, many of the users like they drag down and there will be a refresh icon if you want and you want a request for again an API Then what we can able to do see so we here we got ion refreshner So this is ion refreshner where you have can add this refresh in Okay, a small function or uh, small what we call it as like value or HTML so there is an event called do refresh okay so what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll go to the dashboard we'll go here and we'll go to the dashboard page and what we'll do we'll add that function here okay so now no errors so at the time of this what we'll do event okay event dot prevent not prevent well, as soon as this is done then we have to call this function okay and then a, again a request sends and once the request is received then we will dismiss it okay so that's it i think that's all for this refresh here you go with the please wait once it is done see you got a small icon here there you again you refresh it refreshed and you got the data and this refreshing need to be dismissed right so here you go with here like what the event you need to do event dot target dot complete okay so once it get completed so once the refresh is done then you need to complete the target so here you go with this again again we just extract it once it once the refresh is done a new value is new new users has been added and then it is done okay hope this refreshing loading reloading concept reloading concept you have understood and for more videos for ionic you can please subscribe my channel and
do watch all the videos of my playlist to get expert in ionic